in recent years, we've learned that uh, you can differentiate between T cells that they are present in the tumor but can actually recognize tumor antigens, and uh, and then T cells that they 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 are present in the tumor but they are not specific to tumor antigens. They actually recognize tumor unrelated antigens. So those that they do recognize the tumor antigen, we call them tumor specific T cells. And a lot of these cells, it turns out that they express this molecule called CD39, which is considered an immunosuppressive molecule, and it's 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 known to be an exhaustion marker, which often is expressed by exhausted T cells. So we were interested to understand why these these tumor-specific T cells are expressing CD39 or how they actually come to upregulate CD39 and what's the implications of that. So what we did was we uh, we knew these, these effector, these cytokines, IL-12 and IL-27, are important for differentiation of effector T cells. So we, we grew these T cells outside the body in vitro in the presence of these cytokines when the T cells were activated. And we saw that the in, uh, in, uh, these, these cytokines individually or in combination, they can activate um, T cells and they actually can help upregulate CD39 on the T cells. Now, what was interesting was that we saw with IL-12, these T cells tend to express more of the exhaustion markers, but with IL-27, they tend to less express the exhaustion markers. So this shows us that these cytokines, they can differentially, although they will, they will induce expression of CD39 to different degrees, but they can also differentially affect the, the exhaustion level of, on these T cells. And what was also interesting was that when we tested the effector function of these T cells in the presence of these cytokines, it looks like uh, IL-12 and IL-27 can differentially affect the effector functions of these T cells. That means with IL-12, the CD39 positive T cells, they are able to produce more interferon gamma, but they're less able to produce TNF and IL-2. But in the presence of IL-27, they are able to produce more of that. So this is important because there are quite a bit of adoptive cell therapy efforts out there, and people are interested to, to design the best T cells that you can grow outside the patient's body and then infuse the, uh, the patients with, uh, with these T cells that they have been activated and grown in, outside the body or ex vivo. And uh, what we think there would be consequences from this, this, this research that this research that we've done, and one that you can grow these T cells and you can probably uh, treat them in the, or grow them in the presence of these cytokines to optimize their effector functions before you actually infuse the patients back with these T cells because we know CD39 is often expressed on tumor specific T cells and these are the T cells that you need to get into the tumor and, and kill the tumor cells.